So the plan is uh, to use those plastic knobs here, obviously in uh, this orientation, but they won't stand that way. Uh, and this will be welded here. So I'm thinking about uh, centering the drill about three quarters of an inch. Uh, so that'd be about here. And on center, obviously, of the T-slot. So roughly like this. This will give a little bit uh, space for the uh, hand movement, hopefully enough. Uh, half an inch seems a little bit too much. I don't know, I have to think about it. The thread here is 3 eighths. Uh, so uh, uh, if it's uh, half an inch from here, the center, there will be about uh, uh, 3 sixteenths minus uh, 5 sixteenths uh, meet between this and that. So still substantial amount. I don't know, maybe I do uh, 0.6 sort of, uh, you know, uh, in between. Well, what I'm trying to do is make sure the distance uh, between uh, between those uh, blocking locking points is as far uh, away as possible. Uh, and the reason is uh, the more it is, the more stable this is going to be. So, uh, but I don't want it to be moved so far this way or so far that way that there is some flexibility there. Even through this is hand tightened uh, maybe a word too much but uh, yeah i think 0.6 seems a reasonable amount uh, so yeah let's set it up and uh, uh, drill the holes first and uh, first find out the center etc drill the holes then power tap them and uh, voila this uh, this part other than the welding uh, would be done as before, we proceed by uh, finding the center, and the trick is to uh, lower this with a quill, and then proceed to find where it stops wiggling. And just about here, but let's move a little bit more back it forward you know that we don't really need that much precision but you know why not and voila now we have to not forget to zero those things okay now you simply move the quill up and go to the other side Well down and repeat the same thing again. Oh, that is better seen from here. And voila! Now at our draw, we simply take the uh, Y here, half it, and we know where the half point is. So now I have to find the other edge. This is rather uh, easy. I just move anywhere here and just do this once and approximately here so uh, that is our x-axis uh, we zero our x-axis now notice that this thing here is uh, 0.2 inches 
uh, in diameter. So the actual start of the edge is 100 tau away. This is uh, very important. So uh, I have to either add 100 to everything or actually move the thing 100 and then zero it out. Now since we made this pretty precise, this is five and a half inches exactly. So it's going to be pretty easy to figure out where uh, where the other hole is also. I don't have to find this edge here. So this is probably a little bit of an overkill to use a center drill, but uh, I spent so much time on this part. Uh, I just want to really, really make sure uh, I don't drill the hole crooked. Uh, so this is pretty easy. Uh, all I do is just uh, make a little uh, tiny holes. Uh, the first one is 0.6. And the other one is 5.5 minus 0.6, which is uh, 4.9. I actually moved from the previous uh, video the uh, the actual uh, uh, the center finder by 100, so I can use uh, direct measurement, what I would call. So now let's move to uh, 4.9. It is 4.9, so let's put another one in here. And voila, center drilling is done. Now let's switch to a drill and uh, then tap it. Here is the drilling part. Uh, hopefully, uh, it goes well uh, since I somewhat recently sharpened this drill by hand. Uh, well, actually, it passed pretty well. Drill is five sixteenths, and there she goes through. And now for the other one. Imagine having to do this without uh, a draw and uh, looking at the dials, That's, uh, that would take some time. So again, let's just drill. Alright, now we are ready to tap it. So here I'm going to power tap this uh, by just putting the tap in the uh, collet. Uh, I'm going to run it forward and then I'm going to run it uh, backwards. There's some loop on the actual... And as you can see, it's slowly coming through. And now with nicely true, we're going to go the other way. And 
and voila! Topped. Same thing with the other car. So uh, the next step uh, which I am uh, doing is uh, making four shims out of this stock here. The shims uh, are going to go between the rail and the table so that uh, this whole thing moves. So uh, they have to be at least 0.2 thick uh, and they have to be less than 5 8 wide. So uh, the length is not important. I'm thinking about inch and a half. Uh, and I'm thinking about 0.3, which is more than 0.2. And I'm thinking about 0.6, which is a little bit less than 5 8. And once I have those, when I have this uh, stock squared, uh, then I will cut it into four pieces. Uh, make the pieces approximately inch and a quarter. And in the middle of them, I have to drill a 5 8, a 5 uh, 16 hole for the uh, screw. Uh, so uh, first I'm going to use this 2 inch face mill to uh, square this stock from all sides. I mean it's some uh, pretty much scrap, you know, has some kind of strange features here. Uh, so I'm just going to take that off and then I'm going to flip it, take it off there. Um, then from each side and uh, then I'm going to cut it to size.